come from uh, science and research and I uh, thought it would be nice to demonstrate the uh, process of a, a traditional uh, neuroscientific experiment to the uh, participants who are uh, artists. So we started to organize uh, with uh, uh, Argan Andrea on this uh, masterclass and uh, we were looking for a device that is uh, um, easy to use and of course there are uh, many options. I'm as an artist I became too interested in a brain sensor electroencephalograph more than 10 years ago. I bought one. Uh, I found it not, uh, not that good uh, for the way if uh, I would like to be not just an artistic experience, uh, if I would like to research uh, what my installation causes, for example, uh, in the brain activities. And, uh, and uh, when we begin to work together, uh, uh, Balash suggested me uh, the Brain Products uh, company, and uh, we, we chose uh, together this Exxon uh, sensor. We found the uh, Exxon, and uh, the company um, uh, really was uh, collaborative, and we found a solution to uh, uh, we, we could connect a photosensor uh, to, to the device as, as we do in research and uh, we could uh, use the photosensor to uh, trigger uh, the EEG signal and to synchronize the EEG signal with the uh, visual stimulation. So we could basically do a, a, a traditional ERP experiment, which is uh, really nice uh, um, compared to how uh, easy to use and lightweight uh, these uh, devices. It is very easy to use, not so much easy, uh, but you need to catch some, some things before you use it, but uh, it is very friendly for someone who are not professional. First time that I use something like this, but it was very interesting. And I didn't expect that there is only a sponges. I always imagined there is something hard or some pin or something like that. Yeah, but it is not harmful for head. It was uh, it was pretty comfortable. Uh, didn't feel any. Uh, almost didn't feel any pressure, I guess. And uh, it was pretty lightweight, so I didn't feel any. Um, any, anything heavy, you know, it was, it was totally okay. I mostly worked with uh, gel-based uh, um, sensor applications uh, like the ActiCap, uh, but uh, so I don't have experience with uh, sponge-based uh, recording devices, but uh, I found this uh, surprisingly easy to uh, apply. Uh, the impedances went down uh, really uh, quickly and uh, the signal quality is, uh, mm, is uh, generally very, very good, especially after, uh, of course, we have to use uh, some filtering, but, but uh, it's, um, the preparation signal quality ratio is, is great, I have to say. And uh, what I found uh, uh, in the tool, uh, in the sensor, really good, uh, that the, that the sensor at the end of the arms uh, are turnable, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which is uh, more easier to uh, ap ap apply to a head. Uh, so it's, it's, it, it, it takes much more easier to find uh, the, the, the really, really parallel <laughs> direction to the skin. It was very interesting to see all the, all the waves of everyone. Uh, most interesting was that it was so different, even though I didn't fully understand what it was meaning. It was like a massage at first, and then, um, and then you forget about it, kind of, because it became part of your head, in a way. Um, in, it was also very easy to learn how to use it. Like in, we we saw it with you in twenty minutes. Was uh, I was able to remember uh, like all the process to to set it up. So I think he, it has a great user uh, interface and usability. In the application is also uh, uh, nice, uh, easy to set up and. Uh, uh, quite 
intuitive. So it's, um, I think it's uh, good both as a researcher, but uh, if I imagine an artist who wants to start with the uh, EG, it's, uh, I think it's also uh, very easy to use.